We have the wheels, we have the coal, and we have the spare parts. George is here, Ethan is here, and Anthony's here as well. I have to start all over again because of you. But why? What happened? Guys, we need to carry these cars to Grandma. She works for the museum as a rarity train, you see? And she needs some spare parts. Could you help me, please? Sure, I'll, I'll help, help you. you! But who's gonna bring presents to my Grandma? Well, me, of course. I am the smartest. I will find the way quickly. Hmm. With the star's help. Maybe we need the fastest one here. There is a long way, and you are not that strong. I have the strongest one here. At least that's what my mom says. Do you want to check? Well, I suppose we can. Hey, guys, just take it easy right now, okay? I really don't care who's gonna help me. No, no, no. We will find the best assistant for you, Vera. The strongest one, the quickest one, and the bravest one. And so? The one who'll be the first at that forest is the one who's gonna help Vera. Okay, now let's see who's the fastest and the strongest here. And then we'll determine who is the smartest one. May the best one win, then. one here. And who is the smartest one here? <laughs> Mate, it's a dead end. Hey, young guns. Why are you all looking so sad? We are trying to understand who is the best helper. We didn't succeed yet. Why do you need it to know? To figure out who will help Farrah to bring this to Grandma. And now I just don't know what to do. I mean, Grandma won't have any coal nor any spare parts. I brought it to her already. But when? In the morning. It was just after Vera asked me to do it. Vera, we told you that we were going to do that. Why did you ask Grandpa Billy instead, then? You were all busy in your stupid competition, so you couldn't help me, could you? George, Ethan, Anthony, don't try to figure out who is the best. You just have to try to help out first. The most important thing is to give your grandma your help when she needs your help. That's all. You got it? Yes. We were all in the game. This was a real dead end. I'm really sorry, Vera. That's okay. Next time I'll just ask someone myself. And um, who will that someone be, Vera? <laughs> <laughs> What's the joke? Hey, friends. Press to subscribe and watch the new episodes. I've been alone on this uninhabited island for three days. Will I survive alone? Hello there, Ethan. Are you still playing Robinson Crusoe? I'm going downtown. Do you need something? Yes, I'm still playing Robinson Crusoe. And Robinsons do not get anything from downtown. Thank you. <sighs> It's hard to survive on an uninhabited island. Nearly impossible. Ow! <laughs> hey, what's going on here? This is my uninhabited island. You go and inhabit some other place. Playing Robinson is a stupid game when you have many friends around. But it makes me strong enough to survive in extreme conditions. You see, Vera? Oh, yeah? Then I want to be Robinson as well. 
I'll be Mrs. Robinson. Girls cannot become Robinsons. Watch me because I will. You see? Oh. I will play the survival game using scientific methods. So then, shall we go and get ourselves an island? No! I can't live on an uninhibited island. I have to eat a lot. So why don't we go make a movie about them? Get the camera, Arnold. some noise. This place could be dangerous. Look over there! It's them! <laughs> Don't scare them away. These are savages. I'm going to try to capture them. Oh! These savages are mine. Actually, I was the first to spot the savages. I discovered and described them. <laughs> Hey, guys, I'm confused. Did we capture the savages or did they capture us? Hey, I gotta say, I'm getting pretty tired of playing Robinson Crusoe. And I have some experiments to finish at home. Really, guys? Ethan, we agree that you're the best Robinson player ever. You're the champion of this game. Uh, what do you say? Can we play another game? Hide and seek, maybe? <laughs> ah, wait a minute, guys. Trolleykins, when did you get to join the game? I would like to know. Uh, indeed, then. How did you guys even get here? <laughs> I think I know who's taken the game too far. We wanted to shoot a thriller, so we simply put them up to the task to come here. Uh. Uh -oh. Hey, run, stop! Run, I'll run, get run, you! Run. Hey, hey, you better stop! Just stop wait, wait, that wait, it, wait, you wait, I'm wait, gonna wait, get you! You'll see! What? The Robinson Crusoe game failed, guys. Let's just pretend we're violent savages. <laughs> Yes, my dear. It's much better now. Yes, everything's in order. Ethan, let's go. Vera is crying. What happened? Uh, okay, go on. <laughs> Vera, why are you crying like a girl? Well, Ethan, she is a girl. You couldn't understand. It's poetry. What is that? <laughs> What do we have here? And I came to the path of dusk since I lost the only way back. A little rain poured drops of dream and life was running very, very, very badly. The night was willing to show me the stars. The wind was howling too sadly. Loneliness. It was too late to find the price of tears. So what's the problem? Didn't you understand? This is a very sad poem, Ethan. Yes, it's so melancholy. What's so sad? He can't understand it. He's just a senseless and heartless piece of iron. Me? This is too much. Am I senseless? Am I heartless? This is just too much. I am most sensitive. I can show them tears. I will show them I can cry. My tears will be everywhere. They will drown in my tears. Just wait and see, pale and sleepy dandelion, greens and whites. Ahem. <clears throat> very little kitty, very little, very, very. Even smaller than a rabbit, and it's raining and it's autumn. 
Mm -hmm. Come on, Kitty and Autumn is so melancholy and it's also very sad. Did you get it, Vera? It's just some rubbish. It's not rubbish. Come on, let's go have some fun and play with something. I'm really not in the mood to play anything. Well, what mood are you in? I'm in melancholia. What is that exactly? You wouldn't understand it. Stop saying that. I can understand everything. Everything I want to, all right? <laughs> Okay, poetry, what do we have here? And I came to the path of dusk, very good. I am here, and there's some dust. So far, so good. How long is the path? There is no distance here. Okay, what's next? Since I lost the only way back. That's true. I don't know the way back home. Everything is as it says. Everything is right. A little rain for drops of green. Hey, it says a little rain. Ow! The night was willing to show me the stars above. The wind was howling sadly. Ethan, Ethan, are you home? I don't know where he is. I'm beginning to be worried about him. Where can we find him? Ethan is where you'll hear someone <laughs> sobbing. This is what melancholia is. This is when there are no friends, no mother, and when it's half past 11 and I'm alone and I don't know the way back home. I don't know how to get back. <gasps> oh, guys! Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy you found me. I was all alone here and also I understood how sad the poem really is. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. You know, I didn't think he was so sensitive. Well, that's just the power of poetry. Hey, friends. Press to subscribe and watch the new episodes. Okay. <laughs>